Hey guys, this is Maria Izol, also known as the Wandering Witch Tarot, and today we are going to talk about the wands. And first things first, the wands are uh, fire. They are all about fire. Um, and fire is the element of drive. It's the element of passion. Um, it's what fuels you to create something or to move forward in your life or to move forward with a particular plan. Uh, sometimes, well, with fire, sometimes there's really no planning involved. It's just impulse to do something. It could be positive, it could be negative, but it's definitely a creative process. And um, sometimes you have a lot of focus and sometimes you don't, but it's still a creative process and a, and a, and a way of making something come to life. Now, the ace of wands is all about having that yes idea like the the ace of, of swords having that that idea of what you want but where the ace of swords is just having the idea and coming up with the idea and 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 thinking in a different way the ace of of uh, wands is all about putting that idea into motion um, having that drive instead of well, I have a great business plan, but I'm not doing anything to create it to bring it through to through to fruition. And I could I know I said that wrong. Instead of doing that, you're not really doing anything. But where the ace of wands, you are you are physically, mentally, emotionally putting in, making basically making an investment in creating that that business or that or whatever buying a new home or something like that. So instead of saying, oh, I want to buy a new home or I want to start a business and I have an idea, but I'm not doing anything about it with the Ace of Wands, you are doing something about it. Even if it's like the very, 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 very baby stages of it. OK. Uh, so it would be making a business plan, not just thinking of a business plan, but making one. Um, B uh, budgeting your 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 income to see if you can afford to buy a new home. You know what is you see what I'm getting at? It's not the full process, but it's the beginning of the process. Okay, so that is the Ace of Wands. Now we go to the Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands has a very interesting um, dynamic. The two of wands for me has always been that you have two choices. Um, but you also see that he has the world in his hands. So it means that both um, choices, meaning both wands, are very good. They're very good choices. So now one doesn't outweigh the other. So either way that you choose it'll still be positive. It'll be still something that you want, something that you're passionate about. Hence, the reason you have two wands. If, you know, if you weren't passionate about both, you wouldn't have this card. Um, so it's, it's usually about choice. It's, it's about re, re... If you would see it as a business, it would be more the sense that you have to... I would see it more as refining your passion. Where with the ace... It was the creation of something. It was the the starting the the wheels to turn to to make what your what your dream is come true. Well, things are finally starting to show up. Now you have two wands, so now you have two ideas to get where you want to get to the 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 um, the outcome that you want. You have two choices, and those two choices are equally wonderful, are equally good. And you just have to choose. And the funny thing is that you have the world in your hands. You have the globe. That usually means that you have either... It's all on you. It's all your choice. Um, so it's it's really a card of cho choosing. And um, seeing out to the future. And seeing what you really want to happen. Okay? So now we go into the three of wands. Which is very interesting for me anyways. As you can see, um, it's a man holding one wand, another one to his side, and one behind him. And he's looking out to boats. 
out in the sea right here. Um, for me, this for every time that I read and every time that I I've, I've gotten this card or something or this card in other decks, I always feel that it's more of you're finally starting to see some the outcome the 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 fruits of your labor of your passion of what you've worked so hard things are finally starting to move in that direction and you have less um less tension less um things stopping you it's more it's a bit smoother it's a bit something things are starting to finally seeing uh results um but it's still in the baby stages it's still not there just yet only because of the fact that the if you see the boats they're still they're still not at harbor so they're still not bringing in the the what you need you're, you're still waiting for them to get there but nonetheless they're there you know it's like they weren't there before uh, and you're finally seeing that growth you're finally seeing that movement to um it, it's finally in the horizon instead of it being something that you just thought up and put it into paper and started to put it into motion you can actually see it on the other end Okay, guys, that is the three of pen, uh, three of wands. Um, that'll be all for this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment, which will be the four, five, and six of wands. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.